good day, and welcome to Trust in God at All Times, a daily devotion of Peakland United Methodist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. I'm John Vest. I'm the pastor here at the church. Have you ever heard that spring is a season of love? You know, spring is here and love's in the air. I don't know. Maybe there's some truth to that. One of my best friends just told me his daughter is getting married. They just found out it's springtime. Maybe it was the season. Flowers are blooming, bees are buzzing, birds are building nests. Is that where the whole birds and bees thing comes in? I, I don't know. Spring is here. Love is in the air. According to people who study such things, there's a scientific reason for all that springtime love. <laughs> Dopamine. Helen Fisher, a neuroscientist, professor at Rutgers University, and author of five books on the science of love, is quoted in an online NPR news article. She says, dopamine is a naturally occurring chemical your brain uses to make you want things. There are other systems involved in love, but when it comes to new love, dopamine is the main culprit. And with enough of it swirling around your system, you're prone to fall in love and, and fall hard. And there's so much novelty in spring, she says. There's so much more color, new smells, people take their clothes off and you can see more of them. And so there's a lot of new stimuli that trigger up dopamine and drive our brains crazy and make us susceptible to love. Every April, she says, your brain unwittingly becomes a dopamine factory. <laughs> I'm going to take some of the romance out of it. I, I'll give you that. But on that point, here's the other side of the coin. I saw an article about marriage the other day. After 40 years of marriage, I can say my idea of love has changed over the years. And it's grown deeper. It's become easier to love my spouse but it also has become harder, and here's why. According to the article, we should not follow our feelings. Our feelings might tell us it's okay to be rude to a spouse or to be absent or to flirt with that person who makes you feel like you're seen. Our feelings were never meant to be our guide, despite the fact we're often counseled to follow our hearts. Instead, follow your principles and your promises. Be true to your vows. Be kind and thoughtful to your spouse, especially on the days when you don't feel like it. Your positive actions will change your relationship for the better. And in time, your actions might change your feelings for the better too. So here's the thing. If love is just chemistry, just dopamine, is that really what you want? I doubt it. But if love goes beyond emotion and begins to churn the soil of commitment and principle and practice, then love also involves a choice, doesn't it? Today, make a choice. Make a choice about loving the person you're with. You just might discover that choice opens the door to a deeper love. It is worth a try, don't you think? Then. So let it be. Amen.